Hey, thank you fam. Hello. I know, I know. We're still in the same clothes. We've actually been in the airport for the last nine hours. Oh my gosh. It's gone fast though. Because we've been fast. eating, talking, reminiscing on Texas and all that. Mm. But we're still here because we have another flight to catch. Yes. We, we we're what is it? <laughs> we are going to South Africa. Yes, we Why are. Why we going to South Africa, babe? Because, um, obviously, some of you have been messaging us, our South Africa Day Q fam, about our wedding video being played on TV. Mm. And that was a collaboration and they're bringing us out to South yeah. Africa so that we can be part of their Night of Love. Yeah, which is they've got a, a concert yeah. on the 14th of um, February, which is Valentine's actually Valentine's Day. Day. And they're doing a Night of Love and they've got various performers yeah. singing. It's going to be an amazing night. Obviously, we're not singing, guys. Yeah, we're not, we're not singing. We're just there. Yeah, we're there. Enjoy it. But on the lead up, we've got various interviews yeah. just talking about love and stuff like that. We're on our way to catch our flight. We're heading to the gate an hour before it takes off. We're all on time. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. You ready for South Africa? Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? Yeah, it's nice to enjoy your own bed, you yeah. know? Yeah, my knees, I feel like they're getting old. Just going to different, just flying through different time zones uh -huh. and just getting tired. I thought it was the same time as in the UK, but it's actually not. We're two hours ahead in South Africa, so, oh my gosh, another adjustment to make. Yeah. But, um, beautiful airport. Yeah, hey. very nice. In comparison to Ghana and Tanzania. Look, we're up and coming. <laughs> Ghana, we just built a new airport. Tanzania's building a new airport. Tanzania's building a new airport. We're yeah. catching up. We're coming. We're South Africa. But yeah, it's beautiful. But we brought the rain with us, which is really sad. No, it's going to stop. Do you it better stop. Exactly. The weather needs to know. It's really nice. <laughs> exactly. Imagine if it rained the whole week, though. Yeah. No way. We've got some exciting activities planned. Yeah. But we can't let the rain get in the way of them. No way. And there's obviously my sunbathing. Like, I need to catch my glow. So the rain needs to go so I can sit out on the porch, you know? Anyway, I'm out of breath because Gabe is leaning on me. He's heavy. <laughs> that was my workout, but yeah. Joe Berg, we have a wrap. boxes sweating <laughs> because we're still in our airport outfit london outfit slash texas outfit which was cold um and we've got an interview a radio interview with some station and then we get to go to the hotel and freshen up because boy it's been real 48 hours in the same clothes yeah i said it and what you ready babes yep ready indeed ready, ready, ready. man i'm tired i hope my brain works all I need to do is remember that my wife's name is Anna. <laughs> yeah. And, and why you love me. Yeah, why I love you. And why love's so important. Yeah. And, and the stuff. night of love that we're here for. Why is love important, babe? Love is important because it is, I don't know, we'll Because come out. God is love. <laughs> and love is God. There we go. Interview over. Amen. <laughs> All right, let's go in and have the real interview. Yeah, let's go. 
Hey guys, so we're at a radio station at 27 Boxes. What's yeah. the name of the station? Twin, um, Brand Life. Brand, Brand Life. Life. Yeah. And we're with yeah. Don. Yeah. He's Online. like a... Online radio. Okay. Yeah. And he's like a relationship guru. He's Mate. written two books. He's going to be telling us some stuff. Yeah. I don't know why he's interviewing us. We should be interviewing him. <laughs> yeah. But we just wanted to call him out on our. Yeah, um, we just wanted just to just kind of highlight yeah. what he's been actually doing in yeah. this area of relationships. Tell us more. Tell us more, Ndon. Yeah. Like I said, my name is Ndon Ndon. I do a love and relationship radio show every Monday by 1 pm mm. on brandlive.co.za. And I also do events for singles for married couples. Amazing. My vision is to help singles choose the right marriage partner. Come on. And to help married couples enjoy their marriage. Yes. yes. Marriage was not meant to be endured. Totally. Yes. Pew. But it's to enjoy it. But, but thank you very much, guys, for coming. So exciting. Seems like we've got the same values, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. so good. Practical steps in order to conquer in marriage yes. and relationships. Yes. So we're about to go live. We'll probably catch a few snippets on the blog, but hopefully a lot of you would have been on my Instagram and we'll be going straight to the website. And you know, one of the things that um, confuses people a lot is how to prove that this is the right person. How? What made you sure that mm -hmm. Anna was the right person? Mm -hmm. I think at the beginning you can never be sure. Okay. There's a level of risk involved mm. okay. because you don't because I think time is the only thing that will allow you to really appreciate what you've got. So we decided to take it quite slow. Mm. So at the beginning, um, me um, being a man, I was a bit um, was the I don't, I don't, I don't want to say aggressive, but I was a bit more Intense, forward and yeah. in, in, intentional. Mm. So I let I let Anna know like, look, I'm very interested in you. I want to take this further. And Anna was the one who said, okay, look, we've both been through very messy situations. Okay. Let's take it slow so we went through a situation of six months of really getting to know each other mm -hmm. okay. without the added pressure of telling everyone that we're dating I think when you involve yeah. people too early yeah, then true. you kind of get clouded yes. and like oh you you guys look good together yeah. and all that yeah. kind of stuff and then that starts clouding <laughs> the relationship judgment. goals yeah. Yeah. you haven't even decided if you two are the goal yet exactly. but everyone else defining your relationship or situation mm. so we kept it quite private only told a few people like yeah. that we allowed to speak into our lives yeah. mm. and 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 that helped us but yeah. i think for me i was looking at his character like who, 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 who is this person you know who is he under pressure who is he in group surroundings mm. who who is this person that i'm choosing today and what's his vision in yeah. terms of marriage relationships mm. you know some i might think oh i want to get into a relationship with him he might be thinking i just want to sleep with her so <laughs> yeah. we might have different he, ideas yeah. of what a relationship mm. is mm. so for us it was very important to qualify yeah like mm. i work in corporate sales and in my opportunities I have to qualify whether it's a good enough opportunity, opportunity. Mm. so in relationships it's like i'm, I'm qualifying him are you worthy to be my husband like, am i willing to give up my singlehood I, yeah mm. am i willing to give up mm. my singlehood that is so good mm. like for for a man and when when you are enjoying your singlehood you don't want to give it up for someone yeah. that's mm. not worth so it I think mm. to answer your question we actually went in quite slowly mm. to get to understand each other mm. had a time period where we asked very difficult questions mm. we laid all our baggage on the table from the get-go mm. there was no surprises mm. and then we just went from there and then we were like okay this is who i am do you still want to go forward yeah and then i officially asked her out properly took mm. her out on a date so in that six months we didn't go on any dates it was more like a mcdonald's like you know what you do with a friend but nothing mm. like mm. too intimate if mm. that makes sense mm. so yeah so then officially asked her out and then we just went from there mm. we're finished we finished our first radio interview i'm sweating i look at this head just like this i'm so, so tired I'm like yeah the work has begun but yeah it was good it was really amazing because we're so aligned in our views and our values yeah have, like radio interviews and it becomes just, a debate yeah it's a debate and you're just like saying certain things but we're like yeah no the bible says yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite a good job in that place. You know this, and it was yeah, it was just really good. And we might be seeing him again at the Night of Love event, and then at his event that he's speaking at on, on Saturday, Saturday at church. So yeah, but um, done. Now we're going to get a haircut before we go and check into the hotel. Yeah. Hopefully the sun doesn't burn us, but I'm glad to be burned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I am. <laughs> anyway. What's darker than this? Huh? I like you, babe. I like you. The dark and the berry, the sweet, the juice. All that good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be as dark as you. Of course you do. I do. Maybe your children will be blessed. Yes, amen. <laughs> Come on.
Are you ready to trust another man on your head? Mate, this is the risk. Proper risk. Mate, you, know, you know when you're just originating the head? Yeah, the yeah, headline. yeah. What are you saying? No, we're fine, we're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it looks like a vibe. Yeah, it looks like a proper vibe. Look. Yeah. Looks cleaner than the London barbers, <laughs> doesn't it? Don't talk about that. This is the before. Hopefully it's not an experience like I experienced in Ghana. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your experience in Ghana was mad. Yeah, yeah, it was mad. <laughs> Ready? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. So no No, no, not really. Looks good, you know. Maybe you should come here every... We should come back every week That's to the Joburg. Yeah, I'll probably get one before I go back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good shot. How are you feeling? No, it's good. You're not crying? No, no. All good? I'm not angry? Guy. You're not angry? No, no, he's good. You did good. well, you did well. It's good, it's good, it's good. Are you enjoying your chicken there? It's good, it's so good. Yeah. I've never recorded a woman eat chicken. Oh, Why not? <laughs> It is good chicken. Where do you get it from? Chicken looking? Mm. Fantastic. So Johannesburg, good. you've been great. Might be better than KFC, man. No, I, think, yeah, I think it is. A little bit of spice, a little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. Loving life. Yeah, slides off the bone. Not too messy. What more do you need? <laughs> We've got so about we're... 30 to get through yeah. the journey. Mm. Which I'm sure we'll do this fine. Definitely. Now we're going to the hotel room, finally get to freshen up. Yeah. We've been in the same clothes for like the past 48 hours. No embarrassing. It's life. It's the evening. Oh my god, we just went to the apartment and we just crashed out. So sorry, we didn't do a room tour. We'll probably do that tomorrow morning. I spent probably all of my time showering because <laughs> it's been 48 hours. So yeah, I feel so fresh. I feel good. I look good. I smell good. Yeah, finally smell good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a real husband right here, you know. Just, just, just keep it 100. Yeah, we're going to dinner now. They yeah. called our room to double check for coming for dinner. There may be two reasons for that. One. We're the only ones here. <laughs> two. People eat early. I don't know. Or maybe yeah. they're just really excited for us to come and eat dinner. So mm. We're going to go eat now. Yeah. It looks like we are the only ones here. Oh no, there's another couple. Look at the wife. Look at the beautiful wife. Come and see wife. Look who I get to sit across the table from. <laughs> My beautiful wife. Okay, but you. Are you ready to eat? I'm ready to chop. Mate, it's been a while, hasn't it? Lipstick on as my one makeup item. That's my go to item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. your go to item because some people want foundation, some people want mascara, but for me it's lipstick. Yeah, red for real. Lips. I love red lips. We thank God for Nas. Yeah. Nas, <laughs> my best friend. Hello. After you. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Yeah, Goodness. good, thank you. Oh yeah guys, so as part of this trip we're staying at this boutique hotel for a few nights. It's called Morapeng. Am I saying it right? My South African brothers and sisters. But yeah, we're staying at this place called Morapeng. It's got a museum or historical centre, fossil centre um, attached to it. So we're going to tour that tomorrow, hence why we're staying here tonight. And we've got dinner sorted, our room opens up into this like field. We, we FaceTimed our mums and they were like, is everything okay? <laughs> But we were like, it's so beautiful, so natural. It's um, yeah, an amazing hotel. But when we were refreshing, when we were freshening up and just lying in bed, it was thunder and lightning was real. I thought that it was like happening right next to our house. But yeah. And the thing about Anna and I, we're very thankful for this holiday as well because we're very used to staying in the city. Mm. If you saw our Texas vlogs, we yeah. were always in downtown USA. Yeah. You know, in the hustle and bustle of things, mm. and sometimes. We don't prioritize the rest in LA. Yeah. So it's nice to be away Where you can't do anything. in the country. <laughs> but you look out, you see trees. You just get, you know, tranquility. 
you did a little piece, especially yeah. as we're going back to London next week. So yeah. this week we're really looking forward to just I don't know, just chilling, enjoying, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And we get to see a bit of wildlife. This is our third time in Africa in the last um, year. Yeah. We've been to Ghana, Tanzania, now we're in South Africa. Yeah. And the one thing that's very consistent is the Fanta. Mate. The Fanta is so much better in yeah. Africa than anywhere else. Yeah. Look how orange it is. Yeah, I know. It looks Look so tropical. Orange. Amazing. That's sugar though. It doesn't matter. It's nice. <laughs> That's all that matters, right? So now, the more important thing is to have to chop. So good. So what have you got, babe? Prawns, tea. Prawns and garlic. Oh and, and, I've got so, and I've got some chicken ball thing. <laughs> you going to eat that? Yep, yep. Cheers. Cheers. Come on again, babe. Okay, so our video just went out. So what do you expect me to do? Thanks. Thank you. Okay, I got myself a steak. Mine looks so damn good. Alright guys. Anna's still on the phone. Did you see that in the corner? Oh, Did you see that? Goodness, anyway, thank you guys for joining us for dinner. It was fantastic. It was it? fantastic. Yeah, it was good. So I'm a bit dark. Let me just lower that. <laughs> Let me just lower that real quick. Yeah. Think. Oh, now I'm a bit white, a bit ashy. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for joining us for dinner, and we'll see you tomorrow with some more activities yeah, and adventure. Yeah, South Africa is going to begin. Come Today on. we're just, you know. Get, you know, interviews, getting fresh, here getting and there. climatized, small, small. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, tomorrow but we're gonna yeah. shut it down. Oh, we're here. Oh, 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 o